We start off with a cold open. It is the night before Easter, which has become a bit of a tradition that we get a, a Trump Easter cold open. It's, it's pretty much just a tradition at this point that we get Trump cold opens, but it is kind of an, an Easter thing that we've seen these Trump cold opens. Uh, it is for Trump Bibles uh, this week and it's something that Trump has been pushing. Trump comes out, tells us why sh- we should buy his Bible. We get a little bit of uh, Trump's uh, version of the Bible and where he would play into that. Uh, my first question for the panel, Victoria, when that uh, tomb opens up, and we get the light shining. Was there any doubt in your mind that we wouldn't see Trump? Is there anybody else on the planet that you thought we would see as a character right there outside of Trump? No. <laughs> that's, that's my hot take of tonight. Yeah, it's just it was a great piece on how the man thinks of himself. I don't know if anyone else saw that weird ad Trump put out. It's It was like, Blah 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 blah. So God made Trump. Blah 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 blah. So uh, it was it was very yeah. It was on the nose with with that guy. And every every Christian needs a Bible with the Constitution in it just to know our roots as Christians. So the Constitution is the foundation of the Bible. Fun fact. Outside of that, outside of that, did the did the did the cold open work for you or no? It was it, it. If it was gone, I wouldn't be sad. If it's there, I'm not sad. It was it was okay. That's Thomas. All. How about you? What's your thoughts on tonight's cold open? Yeah, Victoria's hand gesture like that kind of kind of said it all. It was it meandered a little bit for me. The cold open did, but as far as cold opens go, like it wasn't terrible. Like it it, it could have been worse. It wasn't like a one of, like the Joe Rogan one. <laughs> Sesame Street one from a few years ago, uh, but it did meander a little bit. Uh, I thought it was just okay. Did is it just me or is Jay Jay's Trump impression getting more gravelly? Like something seems, I don't know, a lot different about it from like maybe when he two years ago or something when he debuted the impression. But it seems a little weird. Like something happened with Jay Jay's voice that it's just like the impression's kind of hurting his vocal cords or something. It, the impression felt a little bit. Uh, off but i have low expectations for cold open so this was just like fine i guess to start the show yeah i do i think he's he's been trying some new stuff with that impression too and i think we Mm -hmm. saw it tonight uh different inflections and stuff Mm -hmm. i I would assume you know not that the specific episodes don't matter week to week but it whenever we see political stuff this close to an election i do think everybody looks at it like they're getting ready for the election you know it's they're they're trying things out for the election uh, I think the biggest issue I have with, with this cold open, and I think it's the thing I've talked about the most every time I've showed up on this podcast, is, Thomas, would there be anything different about this sketch if they just played us the audio? If they put just a graphic on the screen and just played the audio, would we have lost really anything of that sketch? No, that's one of my big pet peeves. It's just like ripped from the head, like verbatim. Uh, of what these political figures are saying and i love when they go away from that and that's why it was like maybe a small breath of fresh air when like he broke the fourth wall and told the cast members okay you're done you don't have any more lines in this sketch like i kind of like when that happens but you're right haskell it's like with a lot of these cold opens probably for the last eight plus years that's been my main gripe is just verbatim like write something new have a have a different take but this you know, you're right. This one was just kind of cookie cutter ripped from the headlines. In fairness, though, things that are happening in the headlines are so ridiculous. How are you going to rewrite it? How are you going to rewrite it? I don't know. You got to find a way. You got to anti comedy. You got to do something because just doing verbatim stuff is it, it feels it feels a little lazy. I don't know. What would you what would you have done instead? Well, no, I won't. I don't know. I have like ten seconds to come up with something. <laughs> I won't so put I... you on the spot. I'm kidding. <laughs> I yeah, I just think my major issue is uh, at one point I just looked and I was like, you know, he's holding the Bible and I just thought like, wow, he has been holding that Bible up and staring at us for like forty consecutive seconds. Mm-hmm. I was so excited when he put the <laughs> Bible down and brought up the toaster. Just because it was different. And I think that's been my 
That was my main issue. I thought it was an Alec Baldwin issue because Alec Baldwin used to just show up uh, and monologue at the camera. And I used to think, well, you can't get too complicated with the blocking. He's not there for rehearsals as much as everybody else. Uh, but it just, it just seems to be an issue that's continued. And I don't know if it's something that allows them to rewrite the cold open or something like that, but it's just monologuing. And I don't want to monologue right into a monologue. 